What's up everybody out here on vacation? Saw the news of the Toyota Tundra. Looks like Toyota is going to replace all the engines in 102,000 vehicles involved in the recall. This is really big, it's really expensive, so I'm glad Toyota's doing that. Everybody knew they were gonna step up, but you just didn't know what was gonna happen. Um, so I'm happy that they stepped up for those owners. Everybody should be excited that they're gonna get hopefully a new long block. But as you'll see here, the, the text in this recall was very vague. It was like, we're gonna do a new engine assembly. So we still don't know what that is, if it's gonna be a short block rebuild or not. I hope we've seen rumors in Facebook forums and other things that they've gotten contacts with Toyota reps and the Toyota reps tell them it's going to be a long block, which would be what everybody wants. Um, so that's huge. It is super expensive, probably gonna cost Toyota upwards of $2 billion, I would assume if you take the math from 15 to 20 grand minimum for one of these engines, you gotta pay the tech to still put in a new long block if, if that's the case. So the cost is huge for Toyota. Um, they should have to step up. They made a mistake um, or their manufacturing made a mistake and this is what you do. You back up your products and that's what everybody expected from Toyota. So happy for that. The negatives in it, um, the hybrid owners are still left out in the dark so far. I still have faith that Toyota is going to come back. They're going to talk about the 2024s. There were like late 2023 builds that were still affected by this before they refreshed main bearing parts. So that needs to happen still. Toyota still needs to come out and, and maybe shore up uh, the ones that they didn't include in this recall. Hybrids being a big one. You know, if you have a hybrid, I'm going to still fight for you guys. I hope other YouTube channels do as well. The hybrids have the same exact engine. There's no difference in the engine. There's just a hybrid motor smashed in the middle, which masks the problem probably, takes some of the torque off the engine. So I want them to step up and at least do the hybrids as well. Um, we don't know if they're gonna do better warranties. Uh, hopefully they'll extend the warranty on some of these. Uh, there was really limited information in this, so I'm sure more to come. I'm sure you'll hear this from other YouTube channels as well. Let's just hope they keep down this path of customer satisfaction and they do the right thing with the warranties, they do the right thing with the hybrid in 2024 owners, and we can put it behind us and maybe they can have a crazy reliable truck like they did with the second gen. So anyway, that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my vacation. Peace.